Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope everything's going great in your life. It is Thursday, August 4th, 2016. Yeah, Thursday, man. <laughs> I stumbled up that hill. <laughs> ah! I hope going down the other side is a lot easier and I don't fall, huh? <laughs> okay, enough of that. That was a tough Wednesday for me. But I'm still standing. Tough is relative, right? Let's talk about this. I gave you the date because we do this every single day. Yeah, some of you follow every single day. Some of you don't. Some of you might see this week, month, years from now. <laughs> if YouTube's still standing. Uh, but I do this every single day. And you know what? In all sincerity, a lot of days... This is the best 20 minutes of the day. <laughs> it's all in my head, though. I have a great job. Anyway, let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. As my days get weirder, my pocket uh, carry, my EDC, man, it gets tighter and tighter. I really love it. So let's talk about this day. What you see right there is what I'm going to stuff into my pockets in about 25 minutes and run off to work late again and then um and i made this all arranged it all nice and pretty took a picture of it well posted on instagram uh should be noonish one-ish two-ish uh this afternoon so you'll be able to see the picture i turned my iphone 6s plus from photo to video and now it's time for us to do this pocket dump deconstruction I always do this Monday through Friday, right before I go to work, eh, before 11 o'clock. I record it and upload it, so you should get it this morning. On the afternoon, I mean in the weekends, on the weekends, I usually do them later, late afternoon, early evening, because I need my couch time, my lazy time, my do very little time. Uh, and so Monday through Friday, yeah, before noon, this video's up on Saturday and Sunday. I don't know, but they will go up every single day. So let's talk about this. Again, I post this on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken around noon. Join me on East on Instagram. Follow the feed. So let's talk about um, the carry. The uh, my watch is the Rolex. It is uh, my, my Rolex date just, just a nice classic watch. The smoke is not all that classic, but man, it's a nice Cuban smoke. It's the Quaba. Uh, I really love this smoke. Looks weird, smokes perfectly well. Shown pin, this time it's the brass pin. You guys know I love my shown pins. The wallet is a Coach Vintage wallet. Yeah, I do real thin wallets. Literally two cards <laughs> and a driver's license and maybe some bills. Uh, the coin is uh, the 2012, yeah, 2012 Australian uh, Lunar Year. It's the second series in the Australian Lunar Year. And of course, it's the year of the dragon. You can see that dragon right there. Always carry a good luck one ounce silver coin. Again, trace back to my grandfather. Always carried a silver dollar, American silver dollar. We used to have those. <laughs> and he spent them too. So he must have had more than one in his pocket. I called it good luck because every time I saw that he had it, I knew I was going to get some penny candy or something or other. Um, the... <laughs> man i told you rough day single malt and you know what should i have a single malt trapped in a small little contraption like that nope i should be fancy with those fancy new ice cubes that don't melt and <sighs> not only is it cool to be smoking a cuban cigar taking swigs out of this Man, it's just necessary sometimes right after work. 
Um, let's talk about the knives that I'm carrying. There is a knife that got away. It is closely related to the knife that got away yesterday because I had so much fun playing with it. Uh, today, the keychain knife, you, hey, listen, I always carry three knives. I always get the question, why three knives? Someone left a comment. By the way, thank you for all your comments. I read them all every single day, and I will respond to them. I just respond to them in bunches. So, uh, but trust me, I read them. Someone just left a message going, too much for your pockets. Cool. I didn't know you could read so much about a human being by his hands. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. Um, I like a bunch of things in my pockets. My grandfather, my father had a bunch of things in his pockets and a gun strapped to him. And that's without all those fancy holsters. Uh, him and my grandfather and uncles, they were gun people big time. My grandfather had saggy pockets full of stuff. Man, I guess I've just men have stuff in their pockets. If you don't, if you don't like this, I got it. That's cool. Where do one, do none. But for me, I like my pockets full. It just makes me happy. That's it. Um, no scientific reason <laughs> for what I put in my pockets. Oh man, have we gotten to that? Arguing about what's in a man's pockets. Anyway, uh, I digress. Uh, you know you're getting old. <laughs> When people argue about what you put in your pockets. Anyway, let's talk about the knives. Uh, I'm carrying the roadie. You guys know, I think I carried it earlier this week. Uh, I have five roadies. It's the Spydeco roadie. It's just a wonderful pen knife. It's a new generation of pen knife. Plain and simple. It comes in five different colors. These are FRN scales. Fiberglass reinforced nylon. I just call it great plastic. Strong um wears very very well um the roadie has a 2.1 inch blade the steel is n690 steel it's a slip joint which means there is no lock there is no lock to this but i'll tell you a nice strong spring and most modern slip joints have a stop right here so of course you push through it because it's not a lock, but right there, it gives you a lot of resistance. That is a not so subtle thing saying, move your fat fingers or I'm gonna make you bleed. Spydeco also came up with a new kind of nail nick. You know, the nail nick, your father, your grandfather, some of my great case knives have them. Man, I haven't shown or carried a case knife in a long time. I got to bring those out. I have a bunch of them. I love those knives. Anyway, um, you know, that little slit right here that you do uh, with your fingernail. Instead, they have these two things right here. You pinch and you pull it up. The spidey hole is just branding. It's not something that you can use. It's a real nice knife, man. And of course, five different colors, black, gray, red orange blue make it would make a great gift for anyone you can just drop it there is no a pocket clip because that would be kind of useless <laughs> so i'm glad they didn't do that just drop it in your pocket for me i put it on my keychain i love them as keychain knives drop it in your purse drop it in your pocket um my medium carry it's a holy day Okay, it's a holy knife day. It's a day that I'm carrying knives with holes in them. <laughs> this is the Chris Reeve Small Sabenza 21. He calls it riddled, and it's riddled. This is the small one. The large riddled was my very first Chris Reeve knife, knife that I ever bought it on, bought it off of Amazon, got it on Prime, and got it on Saturday delivery and just oh my life was changed forever <laughs> that was 47 Chris Reeve knives ago but this is the small version and man I just love it one reason I love it is first it's kind of kick-ass right it's like you were carrying this someone was shooting at you and it was riddled with bullets right there <laughs> so he punched holes in the show side of the titanium 
and they're nice and ragged. I love it. It's got the gray in it. That, that's really kick ass to me. And then what's really nice is they go all the way through. See the blade go in? You know, there's a lot of custom makers putting holes in the show side. Chris Reeve does it. It lightens it up a little as well. Of course, this is the small, everything else is like all the other small Chris Reeves, the Benza 21s. Same profile. This has a satin blade, S35 VN steel, because that's how Chris Reeve is rolling these days. The Chris Reeve integral frame lock, and of course, that wonderful Chris Reeve clip. The great thing about the Chris Reeve clip to me is it's there to clip the knife on your pants and it does a great job. Other than that, it's not there to be showy or anything else. It's just there to work. <sighs> That's a Benza work. I really love this. It's the riddled. That's my medium carry for today. And then, man, I came across this. Man, I could not sleep. I haven't slept well all week long. And I'll tell you, man, I really have a love affair with the Spydeco Ethnic series of knives. Um, they have the best, wonderful shapes. They all come from original uh, knives that are found uh, centuries ago, <laughs> you know, um, all over the world. And then Spydeco brings it together with very good materials modern materials and modern techniques and makes folders out of them. Oh man, you should check out. I've got every single one of their ethnic series. I just love it. Their most recent was the Patata. I have a video of that and it's called the Patata, a love story. I love that knife. You would think when I say, oh, it's ethnic series, it's based on old knives, from around the world that they would be boring knives and not useful in an EDC situation? Wrong. Look at this, this is the Chalkwee. I call it the Chalkwee. I don't know what other people call it. C-H-O-K-W-E, Spydeco Chalkwee. Oh man, I just love it. It has G10 on the show side, you see the holes in it. Told you it was a holy kind of day for me. Titanium backside on the lock side with that Chris Reeve integral frame lock. Spydeco loves their Chris Reeve integral frame locks. Man, it's smooth as silk. It really is. Ah, man, oh man. S30V steel, good steel as well. And I love the shape of this. Yeah, it goes to a point, but it's a it's a thicker point. It's a usable point. You're not going to pry anything with it, are you? <laughs> that would be dumb. But it does stand up to great work. Oh, man. It is nice. This is one of those knives. And again, you can kind of understand it if you're looking at a knife that centuries old, uh, uh, a standard knife in a community. It can do a bunch of things. This, of course, is a slicer. But man, tactical? Uh, I think so. I think so. But for me, it's also a beautiful knife, and that's why I'm carrying it. Man. Again, 3.75 inch blade. It's a decent size blade. It is so thin, though. When you got, when you have titanium, and then you have the G10 on top, but you have those holes in it. Man, Spydeco did a great job in balancing this. This is the Spydeco Chalkwee. It's my carry. Man, it's so light. It's so wonderful. This one, I really love the Riddled, and that'll go in with the Chris Reeve leather sheath dropped into the pocket. There's my keychain knife. Hey, folks, it's called the Rody from Spydeco. That is my carry. Please thumb up this video if you've enjoyed it. Those thumb ups, uh, I looked into it. It doesn't do a lot as far as technically on YouTube, but man, it does so much for me. It really does. It just keeps me going. It's the fuel that keeps me going. I know that you guys are enjoying the videos. That, my friends, is the makings 
of my pocket uh, today. That's what I'm going to shove into my pocket. I'm going to have big bulging pockets. And if you don't like doing that, then don't do it. I love doing it. It just makes me happy. That is what I'll show on Instagram noonish, one-ish, or two-ish o'clock. But you know what? This ain't Instagram. No, it's the Keith Kevin King YouTube channel, and it's the knife that got away. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was yesterday, the day before, days blend together when <laughs> I'm not having fun at work. Uh, but I had my other Microtech out the front automatic. This Microtech out the front automatic is the Microtech QD Scarab. This to me is one of the larger, um, I have way bigger Microtech uh, automatic out the fronts, way bigger. In fact, I have a video of all the Microtechs in my collection. You can go check that out on this channel. Um, but as an EDC knife, this is about as big as I would go. Uh, it is thick, but it's nice and thin. It feels so good. There is a regular Microtech Scarab, and the difference is it doesn't have all of this texture inside of this pattern. And that texture just gives you a nice grip. This is the blacked out version, Tanto version as well. Oh man, I love it. Max Steel has a glass breaker on the back. It's just really nice. Coated. It's a 3.5 inch blade. Again, Elmac Steel. It's the Microtech QD Scarab. And I just been playing with it all morning. Was going to carry it, but went with the Chalkwee instead. That's the knife that got away. Oh, what a pretty knife. Pretty knife. And that, my friends, is it. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to thumb this up. Uh, let me know that you want to to keep on going day after day after day because that's my intentions. A lot of you are watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button. Do it. It takes a second. Plus, we have a goal together at a thousand. I'm going to open up and we're going to go through 400 Spydecos. That includes all of the Ethnic Series knives and a lot of the uh, original knives from Spydeco all the way up. To the most current today. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Hey, you guys, I really appreciate you. You have just a wonderful, perfect day. I mean that as sincerely as possible, <laughs> that one human being can mean it to another. I do. So you guys have a perfect day. Keep your pockets full. It is fun. Goodbye.